We had information, we had information. I could have gone to the bathroom and done that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, we got two boys after.
First Street, Water Street. Union Avenue, Water Street, Union Avenue.
Is it giving you a pace or clocking your pace? Heart rate. Right. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> You're running in your range, heart range. If you exceed it, are you gonna look like walk or something or what? No. Slow down. I do for work. Oh, I got you. Keep the time with it. Uh huh. Blaine Street, Jefferson Street. Blaine Street, Jefferson Street. Blaine Street,
get the clothes in that house. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, day 36, Terry. Morton and Mildew. Morton and Mildew. Hey, Memo. <laughs> no, she got the memo. She knew you were running that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like they missed the whole neighborhood. Yeah.
second one. Gotta watch out.
so there'll be three teams. Yeah. Yeah. So there were 32 boys for two teams. That's very inevitable. Yeah. They should. I mean, at that age, you just want to discourage the kids. Yeah. You know, there's still, most of them haven't had any sort of training or yeah. lessons. So you never know, you could be cutting the best kid. Yeah. But we didn't go last week because we didn't know about it. And then Friday night, one of my friends. I missed the first count last year. We ended up on the duty team because of it. According to the 18th post, anyway. Yeah. And then, then we still developed, so. Which one did you run? The half marathon or the 5K? The half marathon. Yeah, same here. Well, what'd you think? Huh. Well, I run in a, I run in that area many times before. The Cupids run. Where are you from? Chicago. Okay. Yeah, I live around there. Uh, you know, this year, actually, I'm sorry, I ran the year before. This year, uh -huh. we had a bet with some friends that if we lost a certain amount of weight, uh -huh. we would run, and if we didn't, we'd have to wear pink shorts. Uh -huh. A bunch of guys. Uh -huh. How much yeah. weight? You know, it's like 20 pounds, 15 pounds each. Oh, jeez. No one ever did it. Uh -huh. The weight loss. Uh -huh. And we never, we were too scared uh -huh. to make sure. <laughs> you know, especially around the area where we live. Uh-huh. Here I wouldn't mind. I don't know anybody. Good. <laughs> nice run, isn't it? Uh, you know, the, the best part of this run is from the halfway point to the end. Especially the last quarter. Because then they got you on some kind of a bike trail. I've done the sea pods. Yeah, the sea pods. Yeah, the sea pods. Yeah. I did last year. That was a shirt for last year, right? You want to try? Yes, it was actually. Yeah. If they had had the 10K like they had the year before, yeah. I don't know if I would have done the half marathon. Okay. But I said screw it. Just do the half marathon and be done with it. Yeah. How was the weather? It was actually very good. Yeah. Like today. I like it. You're probably the same thing. I said to my friend. Jesus, 7 a.m. start? <laughs> We're gonna leave at 5 30. What time did you leave Chicago? Uh, a little bit before 5 30. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, I was, I was barreling down all the expressways. Yeah. Um, and there were, there were state troopers pulling people over left and right. Oh, no kidding. And I'm like, and I'm like, if I'm going 75, oh that means I'm doing a mile in under a minute. You know, I'm trying to do that calculation in my head. Right. <laughs> I was going 90 in the middle of 294. Oh man. My friend says, you're going to wait too fast. Yeah. For some reason, there's never cops in here. No, 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 no. They were there. They were there. All over. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Woo, woo, woo. Way to go, way to go. Way to go. Good job. If you had hit the roads maybe a half an hour earlier. Oh, yeah? You would have uh, seen nobody. Yeah. I guess you beat the heat at seven. That's true. That's true. I tend to cramp up when it's really hot, it's my calves. Are you in a club in the city? No, I tried that years ago. And it's weird. when you're in like a running club, usually there's one yenta who takes control. Oh, really? And like, when you're just like, dude, I don't do that game. <laughs> funny. You know, if I, have, funny, right. if I have friends, you know, whatever, but my schedule is so goofed off. Right. Like, I run like in, uh, oh, there's Mark Simpson. The Simpson's house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, as I get up at the, like around four in the morning to do my run. Oh my god. Because. Does that work early? Uh, I don't, but I have a hell of a commute. And by the time I get home, I'm so dead. I <laughs> don't have any energy. Yeah, I work downtown, so I'm like, oh my god, you know. If I don't run at 5 30 with friends in the morning, yeah. it's never going to happen when I get home. Yeah. But you know, the good thing is when you have a little bit of time, it encourages you to uh, run faster, get more miles in. So I leave the long runs for the weekend. Right, exactly. Exactly. 
Yeah, you're right. To relax during the weekend. Yeah. Did I sign up for the marathon? Same here, Chicago? Yeah, but I've yeah. never, last year, the first time I did it, Yeah. I could only do half of it. No, no, you can keep, keep walking. I found the Hal Higgins this year. Uh huh. But I never, I didn't walk it last year. Uh huh. But I, after 13.2, I was like, Yeah. I didn't train it up. Yeah. Have you done it fast? I've, like, I've covered 26 miles in 11 and a half hours. Okay. Using you know, very long breaks. Okay, maybe that's what I'll do. Yeah. Because I'll start walking after to the water break. No, no, I mean, like, I actually like, will go back to my apartment. Oh, no kidding. And I'll, like, choke oh, for an hour. Flat. And then I'll, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, as long as, like, see, see, the thing is, is that a year ago, I tried to see if, see, the thing is, in the continental United States, uh, you're no farther than 20 miles from, from some road somewhere. Right. So, I said to myself, you know, being able to cover 20 miles, let's say, in a day, would be a pretty good skill to have. Oh, yeah. Just for the hell of it. Sure. So I walked 10 miles uh, in the morning one Sunday, and then in the evening walked another 10. Oh, yeah? So I said, okay, I can do 20 miles in That's right. 24 hours. But now that I'm running, what I'll do is... Are you going to do the same thing? Go back to your apartment this year? What do you mean? In the marathon, are you going to take a break? No, no, no. During, during the actual marathon? Yeah, it sounds like you take a break during the marathon. No, 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 no. When I do my long runs. Oh, okay. When I do, uh, no, when I do my long runs. But you were able to complete the marathon? No, I didn't do the marathon oh, yet. you've never done it. I've run 26 miles. Oh, wow. So this is your first one? Yeah. I did it last year, as I told you. Yeah. What a euphoria, you know? Just, yeah. The sound people hold up, enthusiasm. Yeah. Never seen anything like it. Well, the thing is, is that I wanted to be able to do a half marathon in under two hours because I figured that even if I'm walking at four, four miles an hour, right. then in three hours, three, three and a half hours, I've got another half marathon and I'm right. done. And I ran the San Francisco half marathon in uh, late July. Oh, wow. And I did it in just under 2.05. That's great. So that I think was great. How was that? It was fantastic. That whole section of San Francisco, uh, just below the Golden Gate Bridge, has like the most temperate weather in the country. The July you're in. It's always 65 degrees. It's gorgeous. I you have friends of Virginia Beach at Rock and Roll half year. Uh-huh. How was that? Two years ago, it was a blast. Every <laughs> mile, you got a fan playing. Uh-huh. Wow. That's the only time I've traveled to run. Yeah, see, I knew eventually I wanted to do a marathon, but uh, I wanted to be able to finish it in a respectable amount of time. Right. And for me, I said, well, you know, I'm not that young and I'm sort of still heavy. I'd like to do it in under five hours. Right. And I thought, what's five hours? That's a 12-minute mile. And I'm like, that shouldn't be that difficult, should it? But, but the thing is, the more you're out, the more time you're out, the more pounding your body gets. Right. So well, I said... Right. You know, I figure this year I'm going to try a different tactic. Like I said last year, I can only do half of it. Yeah. I want to walk a lot more now. I never walk. I just ran that's, this one too. That's the Jeff Galloway method. That's oh, yeah? the Jeff Gal- go to go to Go to YouTube. Well, that's Jim Thick method. Go to YouTube and... And do a search on Jeff Galloway. He, uh, you know who he is, right? Never heard of him. He's a 10,000 meter Olympian. Oh, wow. From back in the mid 70s. Oh, okay. 76. And, and he has a hour long t- uh, t- uh, talk. Jim Galloway. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Oh, Jeff, on YouTube? I, 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 at, at Google Talks. At, <laughs> at Google Talks on YouTube. Alright. So, I'll pick him up. He did it in January. And, uh, he gave this talk and he basically gave his whole philosophy and he said back in the 70s when he retired from, you know, racing he opened up a shoe store Okay Philippides he's called and uh, he said he said one of the things we wanted was we wanted our customers not to get injured and we tried to figure out how to do that and he said we found that if he took frequent walk breaks they wouldn't get injured Oh really? Yeah so, what he recommends is run for like a certain amount of time, then walk for a certain amount of time. And then, and then lather, rinse, repeat. Well, so, that's what he says, walk. Like, like, like run for four minutes, walk a minute. Are you going to walk up here soon? No, I'm going to be, I'm going to keep going. Yeah. 
Doctor, you're talking to the mirror. I think this year I told my wife I wanted her. People have these cute signs on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With their faces on them. Yeah. I said, wouldn't it be cool <laughs> if you put a sign up with a couple of my friends all through the one sick? Yeah. I thought, that's awesome. That would be so much fun. Yeah. You see those sticks with the faces? I've seen a lot of people holding clackers and stuff. No, those are different. Big stick, 10, 15 feet high, and it's a life-size version of your face. I see. And, you know, people are looking for you at the mirror, Tom. That's interesting. So you got your face up there. It's really funny. <laughs> Yeah, my goal was to run a whole bunch of half marathons this year, not just to get myself, you know. Have you done it? Done what? Run a bunch of half besides the San Francisco? Um, let's see, I did the... North Shore, you did the... Did the North Shore, I did the uh, Rockford, at the Rockford Marathon, I did the half marathon. Wow. Uh, I went to Minocqua, Wisconsin, I did the Bear Cub, the first annual Bear Cupboard run. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm doing this. Uh, let's see what else I'm doing in San Francisco. Have you lost some weight doing it? My weight's been pretty stable. Yeah, I don't know. It's been good for you. I think I'm where my body wants me to be, which isn't, you know, record-breaking time, but it's where it's sort of comfortable, so I'm not going to fight it for now. Yeah. But I really wanted to do a half marathon in under two hours, because I figured that would really prep me for the marathon. That's a good time. That's not where I'm at. I was uh, 48 this year. I'm like, maybe I'll slow down. Uh -huh. Maybe I won't try to break it. Maybe I'll just do it for the exercise, not for the time. What are you doing? What's your job? Well, I'm, uh, right now I'm doing uh, accounting work. Oh, yeah? yeah. <coughs> Suburbs? Yeah. How oh, you get the reverse commute? Yep. Oh, is that, is that crazy? Well, you know, you have to go through the circle on the way home. It, yeah. could, be, it could be as long as a two-hour commute. And getting to work isn't that bad. It's like an hour. Yeah. That circle energy is just a pain in the butt. <laughs> Makes me wonder why we don't have our flying cars yet. You can't take three? Uh, probably could, but take longer. Yeah. Then I have to take some kind of a transportation from the train station to the to my work. It's too much of a pain in the butt. Yeah. How are you holding up? Not bad. Not good. good. Not real good. What are we at four? Four. Well, my my watch says that I've gone farther than the other mile markers say. I bet. I, I say we're about four and a third. That's great. So we're a third of the way in. Yeah. How about you? Not bad. I figure my pace in San Francisco was about a 9.32, and I'm doing sub, well, sub nine minute miles now. Right now, we're at 9.05 for a pace. And that's really faster than I think I want to be going. Yeah. But I figure I'll pull back at the halfway mark. I'm sure. Slow. Okay. Lap five, yeah, 855 mile. Yeah, I'm doing sub nine minute miles. I don't like that. Not for, the, not for this distance. This is perfect temperature. No, it's too hot. Really? It's, it's too hot. Like by 10 degrees, it's too hot. Like Jump in the lake. It's too hot by 10 degrees. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from England. Hello, mate. <laughs> Needs more cowbell.
Sorry. Okay, fine. I blame it on the race. <laughs> Yeah, let me get on the other side. I don't want to cramp you guys up. Thank you. Sorry, Pardon.
Washington in church.
very impulsive. Cleveland and Prairie. Seventy-four, he said. About Twelve, thirteen minutes to change the uh, camera.
What incredible superpowers you have to keep those cars apart. Yeah, you ate your weenies this morning, right? Time to change the camera. Give it about five more minutes. Eighty minutes in. Fire on that last lap. So basically, eighty to eighty-one minutes.
Wintergreen, Wintergreen, Wintergreen and Villet. Wintergreen and Villet. I'm going to change the camera at the 9 mile mark up ahead. I love my watch, it says 9.16 already. Okay, it's been, I got 9.21 miles, it's an hour 22 and 37 seconds. I'm going to change the camera, but I'm going to keep walking. Camera's back, camera's back on. I don't think I walked more than 50 yards. Tops. I have uh, 1 hour 23.40, so I think I'll, it's about a minute. It sounds about, sort of about right. So I'm past the 9 mile mark. Hopefully this thing is straight. And let's go.
and one hour, 30 minutes. 9.9. Sorry, I got Same 10 miles. I'm saying 10.25, an hour 33 and 8 seconds. Look at it this way: 3.1 miles left, and we're done. Well, there goes the sub, but at least no cramping yet. Minimal need for water. Coming up to Cardinal Court. And an hour 34 and 4, 3, 2, 34 minutes, 10.3 miles. <laughs> Cardinal and Ryan Hills. Cardinal Court.
Geese Road. Woodland Hills and Geese Road. Larkspur Lane, Larkspur Lane. Hey, how come you guys got nicer shorts than we do? We're the runners. I I believe that I'm the one who is sweating profusely. I deserve the brighter t-shirt. Now it gets cool, huh? Hey, you want to give me a ride, Josh? Ten bucks. I was yours too. That's okay. We're on a down, we're a downhill. My body will roll better. <laughs> Good God, it's Batman! How did he discover me? Confound you, Cape Crusader! Confound you, Cape Crusader! Scarlet Witch? Huh? Scarlet Witch? Yeah. Spider-Man? Yes. Spider-Woman. <laughs> you can't be Batman. I passed Batman up there. Oh. <sighs> now it decides to get cold.
Five. Good job. That's it, just from Luke Warren. That's it.
hour and 55 minutes. Guys, you're a minute from being done. Finish strong. Feels like it's starting to rain. Said it was all downhill from here. Yeah. What? Fucking lied.
get the tickets two hours. I've got 12.93 miles and two hours, 12.94 miles. left camp. Two oh three eleven, two oh three twelve, two oh three thirteen, two oh three fourteen.